Okay, so you're going to need some hockey tape, measuring tape, sharpie, knife, and some insulation foam that you can find at Home Depot for about two bucks. So the first thing that you want to do is to measure your tripod from here to here, just this one leg, because that's where the foam is going to go. So mine is about 13 inches, maybe a little less. Now you're going to take your foam tubing and do the same thing. Just measure about 13 inches. Just mark it off with a sharpie if you like. Some people, you can use a knife and eyeball it if you want. Cut right there where you made your line. Try to make it even or straight. And simply just go down. Use some type of cutting board if you got one. I don't because I'm feeling lazy. There you go. There you have it. So now you gotta repeat the process three times. So now you should have three identical length pieces, uh, give or take a millimeter or two. It's not that super important, but as long as it fits in between here. Now you're gonna take your hockey tape, put a strip here, here, and here. It'll just add some more grip when this is uh, when you're going to apply this. Just lift one leg up like this. You could do this if the tripod's standing up. Doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I like to do it like this though. So let's put one here. Just like that. Slice. If your knife is dull, get a better blade. Do another one here. And another one here. This might be tricky. So now that you have your uh, hockey tape on here, you just take your uh, foam cutting and you put it on. And that's basically it. Now you may notice this yellow tape. There is some type of adhesive on here. As you can see, and it sticks. So you can pull that off. Pull the other one off. Now, I want this on the inside so I don't see it. Even though you won't, but you just clamp it together. So now what you do is take some hockey tape again and just Wrap it around. Just wrap it around. Once here. You're going to want to do it kind of tight. Or as tight as you can. So 
that's pretty much it. I'm going to repeat the process on the other two legs, which I'll show you in a second. But what I like to do... What I like to do here is if you got one of these, pull the leg a little more, take your hockey tape, you can start at the bottom or the top, but I'll start at the top here, and just go around just like you would on a hockey stick once or twice, and then start overlapping. And there you have it. You got one foam padding. Your hands won't get cold if you got aluminum. Uh, when you're out in the cold or shooting wildlife or anything else. And you got some foam padding so when you put your tripod over your shoulder and that's about it. It's cheap, it works, and it's great when lugging your camera, especially if you have like a uh, large telephoto lens, such as a 300mm 2.8 or a 400mm or even higher. Those, uh, those lenses are heavy, and most people have a tripod in order to lug it around. This tripod is old. I'm just using it as an example. Um, for this, uh, I've done this on my other tripod, and uh, that's it. So, go out there and shoot some photos. Alright, so, you got this one done, so let's do the other ones. It's all done. Here is your tripod with nice foam padding. If you got a little tape sticking out, just you know, spruce it up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just like wrapping a hockey stick. There's nothing much to it. Uh, yeah, that's it. If uh, if you don't like it, you can always just chop it off. Or if you got something like this where you can unscrew it take the leg off you'll just it should it, it'll slide right off but uh in this case it won't because it's stuck here and it's stuck there so so there you go that's that's pretty much it it really feels better already than holding this stupid aluminum piece but um yeah for those of you who have old aluminum not so great tripods and you're shooting outdoors a lot and you're sick and tired of getting your hands all cold even if you wear gloves or not um i personally can't operate my camera with tiny gloves my hands get cold all the time so i use this from time to time uh with a combination of gloves as well but yeah this is pretty good i picked this up from other people who shoot um photos of uh birds and other wildlife so it, it really really helps